wanted to show you guys, oops, that's going to be a little bit off, darn it. Um, a lot of times we see people use their leveling jacks and then their tires get lifted off the ground and you should never do that. Uh, your leveling jacks or your stabilizing jacks are, they're kind of like the fine tuning of your leveling and uh, you do need to put your tires up on blocks if it's, um, if you're not pretty level um, because your leveling system is a really expensive piece of equipment and it really isn't meant to hold the entire weight of the RV. You need the, the blocks underneath your tires and then you may also need blocks underneath your leveling jacks. So when we pull in, we uh, put the leveling blocks underneath the tires. Then we level with the automatic leveling system. Pull your seat forward, your driver's seat, because typically uh, it will pull off the wood paneling if you don't. And, and then we put our slides out. This one's our bedroom slide. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention is when you're pulling in, of course, you need to check for uh, trees and bushes and things that might be obstructions. And you should always have a ladder and loppers. We have had to do some little trimming. Um, so obviously check that you're not hitting up anything where your slides are going to extend or above you. Next thing we do is put the pool noodles on the corners of the slides, just a little extra warning so that no one bumps their head. I think Craig and I have both smashed our head there maybe when we first got this RV. Our step stopped working, mm, I think it was like a month ago. That's on our next service trip before our one year warranty is done, but we also use this extra step when you hook up, you want to turn off your circuit breaker and then um, plug in and then turn your circuit breaker back on. Here is our water hookup. We have like three different water filters going on here. We have this one, we have the whole house filter which is inside the bay and there's another filter under the sink as well and we use um, this Y valve so that if we need extra water, which comes in really handy, um, and we have a pressure regulator in there, definitely need to have that. Okay, we have our tables and chairs set up for our fire. I hooked up our sewer and couldn't find a big rock, so just laid a log on there. You should always put something heavy to weight it because when the force of the water comes through, it sometimes pops out. On our inside setup, I usually kind of store stuff up here. These chairs do swivel around, but we don't typically hang out inside our RV. We're outside mostly. So just kind of keep everything tidy up here. And then uh, we're only here for a day, so I'm not setting up too much. Um, One thing that I do is while we're waiting for the fridge to get cold, we'll usually, the freezer gets cold really fast. So we keep it in the cooler and then once the freezer is cold, we'll stick everything up there. And then once the refrigerator is cold, then we stick our, uh, the rest of it in here. This is almost, it's almost cooled down enough. Open up our vents, turn on the fan to keep the inside cool. We're not picky about needing it to be super cold, so this this usually does the trick. Okay, time, that's our setup. Pretty simple. Uh, we keep it simple because we do these, you know, one to three day trips. So ready for lunch, beans, and Craig's warming up the ribs on our oak grill, which we just got.
Okay, we're putting our chairs and our tables away. It's a little bit of a um, fitting game to get it in there, but actually our three big chairs do fit in there with our three folding tables. Putting our step away, flip flops, turning off our propane. So part of our every time uh, packing up to go is to use the UV protector on this front part now. Okay, so each trip we try to do one maintenance item to make it a little more manageable. So we're, Craig is putting baby powder on all of the rubber gaskets of the compartments and the door this time. Uh, we always carry water because you never know if we're going to be boondocking next time or not. So um, we always carry water. And if you do the calculation of the weight, some people say like, oh, you shouldn't carry that much weight. But really do the weight. It's such a small percentage of the weight that you carry on a class A RV typically. It might be different for yours if you have lower carrying capacity. Ta yep. Time to dump. And time to add chemicals into our tanks. And this is the one we use. Been very happy with it. Disconnecting our water. Retract the slides and lift up the leveling jack. Blocks are all put away. Time to roll out of here until next time.